Hi, I'm Kermit the Alien and you're watching Resto Roomba. After the challenge which was the restoration of Space Dementia, it only makes sense to do a smaller project. Today I will be expanding my mopping robot family with the iRobot Brava Jet 240. One of the smallest iRobots and also one of the first with an app feature. I got this set used for fairly cheap and everything works, however it's not in the best shape. Long time use really likes to show up on white plastic as you can clearly see. The main offenders here are the deep scratches on top. I was actually surprised by this robot's cleaning capabilities and was using it for a long time even before the restoration. Look how freaking cute it is! I'm really curious though what this cutie is hiding on the inside. Let's find out by taking it apart. First part that needs to come off is the front bumper, which holds on using four long screws located on the bottom. Now to remove the body shell, locate 6 smaller screws, 2 under the vibrating head, 2 in the battery casing, and 2 near the wheels. After removing, I gently pull the shell off. Here is a closer look of the inside and outside of it. The clear part is used for displaying different symbols on the user interface panel and holds on using two small screws. The handle is attached to the body shell and consists of two pieces. I use a flathead screwdriver to carefully separate them, which allows me to pull them out. Moving onto the wheels, they both hold on with a single screw. Remove them and pop the wheels off. I clean out any dirt or hair that caught around the wheel attachments. Because everything works and looks good on the inside, I won't be taking it apart any further. So to clean the rest of the plastics or any inner workings, I use a toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol. The parts that I removed were cleaned using my classic bathtub approach. Before I move on to the customization process, let's take a peek inside the robot and see how it works. This is the main board. Here you can see the four LEDs from the interface panel, the processor, piezoelectric speaker and a ton of other smaller components. The whole assembly is protected by this thick rubber outline, which protects it from any water that might have leaked inside. Here you can see how the pad ejecting mechanism works. The vibration of the cleaning head is caused by a motor hidden on the inside, which simply moves the head in a circle really fast. And lastly, to spray the water, Brava uses this pump, which pushes the water from the orange tube to the blue tube. Now let's move on to the customization. My idea for this robot was to rely on the blue and white color scheme and add a space probe theme, similar to that of Cassini, my other Brava. I wanted them to seem almost related, but also have an opposite thing going on. Since Cassini's paint job is elegant and includes lots of round shapes, I wanted the 240 to have an angular design. And that's where inspiration struck. I named this robot Voyager, like Voyager 1, and decided to include two blue planets, Uranus and Neptune, in the main theme. I also pulled inspiration from the now sadly extinct roller coaster Eurosat that was located in Europa Park, Germany. The song you hear in the background is actually my cover of Eurosat's theme In a Second Orbit. If you want to listen to it without me rambling in the background, look in the iCard section or in the description below. I start by removing the deep scratches and staining using sandpaper. This also nicely preps the surface for a completely new paint job. I spray all the parts that will get painted with Mr. Super Clear in UV Cut Flat, so I can sketch out my design before permanently painting it on.
Here is my concept of the new pattern. After the sketch is done and the placement is correct, I secure some parts with painter's tape and get to work. As a fun detail, I painted a simple design on the wheels. Off-camera as an afterthought, I added some pearlescent paint, then I sprayed everything with a resin-based clear coat to seal the deal. The time has come to reassemble Voyager. First go the wheels, then the handle plus main body shell, And finally, the bumper. To make Voyager even cuter than it already is, I added this tiny bow that my sister made out of beads. And since this is a robot that uses water so it gets wet, I made it a tiny towel that it can dry on when it's done cleaning. There we have it, Voyager is complete! Cue the ending montage! After a heavy project, it's always good to settle on something smaller, but don't worry, some big stuff is coming up as well. To make sure you never miss out, please subscribe to my channel, and if you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like. Kermit the Alien signing out, peace!